You're watching YS TV. My name is Mohammed Mahmoud. I'm an international politics graduate and I broke the cycle. This is new generation of young Somalis. We're breaking the cycle. I was born in Harrow um, and I've lived there for like most for 10 years of my life. Um, then I moved to West London. Uh, I moved to Acton and, um, and I've stayed there ever since. Um, I'm the eldest in my family, so you could probably tell that there are a lot of um, responsibilities. Um, so I had to grow up fast. Um, you know, sometimes my dad would not be at home some nights, so I had to be home early. Um, I had to know what my brother, my brother and sisters were doing. Um, you know, making sure that they're progressing well. And um, you know, alhamdulillah, I'm glad that I went through that stage early. Um, because, you know, it made me sort of a better man now. I moved from a state school to a private school. Um, I would say that was the biggest transition of my life. Um, in terms of education, I would say that I wasn't really into it as much um, as most people were. I was very um, laid back, you know, I, would, I wasn't really going into, you know, class I'm talking about, like in terms of uh, college days. Um, when it comes to like going into sort of lessons, I would miss some. I wasn't really determined as most people were. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do in life. Um, so I, was, I would say that I was kind of lost. In terms of going into university, um, uh, my history teacher sort of told me, you know, you're really good at politics and I think you should do that at university. Um, and um, obviously, you know, Telling my parents that I wanted to do politics was not something of their agenda, you know. Every sort of Somali uh, parent stereotypically wants their child to do something science related. Um, but I really wasn't interested in science, to be honest with you. Um, I really was interested in speaking, I was interested in having an opinion, you know, debating other people on certain topics, and those, those were my strong sort of um, speciality. Living in uh, Acton during the 90s, um, it was very uh, difficult as a young uh, Somali um, teenager, especially the area that I was living in, that were going to sort of, you know, illegal activities such as drugs, you know, such as, you know, going to other people's homes and taking their possessions. You know, I've been hearing a lot of stories and um, I never really understood why, because it's just all these sort of stuff is just all in the, you know, in this life. It's just about, you know, gaining a sort of a moment, whereas, you know, to get money, to get fame and all that stuff in the wrong way. And um, I never really, as a person, was interested in that. And I kind of thank my parents in raising me and figuring out what's right and what's wrong. Because, you know, you may think to yourself, you know, people might see what's right and wrong straightforward but to some people it's not straightforward and so, and it's the parents that tells you what is right uh, and what's uh, wrong and I'm glad and glad that they sort of helped me in that. Um, before I um, was part of the or sort of the organization of the official A team um, before that I was I didn't really was not really interested in charity I never really you know wanted to sort of help others or you know I wanted to just sort of benefit myself um, but during my second year in uni I kind of wanted to give back I thought it was time for me to give back to uh, those who are not ben uh, what's it called privileged and those who are not beneficial and I thought education was the best answer um, there was an organization called United for Somali Students um, and there was an event happening um, an open mic night and a friend of mine um, in my class at uni um, said to me you know you should uh, do a stand-up at this event stand-up uh, comedy uh, at first I was very um, shaky um, I wasn't really uh, I didn't really want to you know stand up and make people you know laugh or cry um, but I said to myself if this is a way to give back to community maybe this might be the start 
So I decided to do stand up at that um, open mic night, and uh, yeah, I made a few made a, a few people laugh and cry. Um, but um, I thought to myself, I don't want to be known as a joker. I wanted to do something else. So I started to join this campaign called Teach Somalia, organised by USS. And um, me and a colleague of mine called Ahmed um, decided to cycle from London to Cambridge. And it was at that moment that I realised that um, I think this is the time where I think I need to form, uh, or uh, myself and Ahmed need to form a bigger organisation and to commit a bigger challenge. And that's where the official A team sort of began. And that's where the dream of London to Paris, the idea of it, started to um, uh, take place. During the um, London to Paris Cycle Challenge um, uh, with me and uh, uh, the other two brothers, Muhammad Ali and Muhammad Allahi, I noticed um, that we were suffering a lot during that challenge um, in terms of mentally um, and uh, physical, mental and physical uh, fitness. Uh, the truth is that the way that we suffered during that uh, London to Paris Cycle Challenge was a fraction of uh, what they suffered um, in their day-to-day -day life. And um, I've kind of, it kind of hit me sort of um, hard because, you know, I'm kind of privileged and kind of um, happy as to what position I'm in. And, um, and this challenge uh, made me realise that I've helped someone who I've never met in my life, who I probably will never see in my life. And um, they are now going to have an education just like me. And it makes me really happy as someone who is a recent graduate. In order for you to change your life, you have to change yourself. And in order for you to change yourself, you have to change your mindset. I think, um, I think the important thing is that, um, that you hang around with the right people because, you know, it's, you know, a lot of these Somalis who are fight, uh, what's it called, um, going into prison, um, it's because they hang around with the wrong people. Because if they were hanging around with people who, you know, you know, believes in them and you know, uh, makes them uh, fulfill their full potential, they would not go. They will not go to prison and they will not go to um, all these illegal activities that they go that they do. Um, so it's it's kind of sad when you hear about these stories, you know. Um, but at the same time, you know, I feel that um, you know, if they see people who are you know making a difference and if they see like anyone you know you know doing some sort of uh, activity or challenge like what the official a team have done maybe it'll kind of inspire them because to be honest with you that was the whole idea of forming the official a team is so that other people can see what we do and they could show that anyone can do it not someone who is a sort of um, you know some diplomat or someone who's like very famous in the you know the community or in the world to do something like that any human being can and um, if they were to see that I think they would um, change what the, what the activities that they do and um, they would make um, Somalia and more importantly the Muslim Ummah a better place to live. Success in my opinion um, there's a difference between short-term success and long-term success. Short-term success is money, um, being known, um, and all kinds of uh, other other stuff. Whereas long-term success is making your parents happy, um, you know, changing uh, and influencing uh, uh, people in order for them to have a better standard of living. That is, in my opinion, a strong and uh, long-term um, success. And um, inshallah, um, I hope to be someone who gives that sort of success. Um, because in life, I believe that you need to leave something behind. Um, you know, some people leave money behind, but I want to leave uh, leave a, a footprint, which is you know to help people. Um, you know, to carry on helping people, and um, inshallah, um, that will take place. Hey, what the heck is going on, guys? My name is Mo Salahana. I'm the creator and owner of Wise TV. I hope you like this video. For all email inquiries, you can email us at youngsomalitv at gmail.com. Like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash youngsomalitv. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at youngsomalitv and also subscribe to the YouTube channel, The Young Somali TV. Every Sunday, a new video, inshallah. For now, peace out because I'm hungry. I need to eat some buddies and heal it with some moss. You feel me? Peace. Salam alaikum.